I am Hiroki Yoshimura of Waseda University, Tokyo, Japan. My talk is concerned with deluxe rushes in thermodynamics of non-simple systems. This is a joint work with Francois Gebelma of ENS in Paris. Now let's see some background and the purposes of our research here. Regarding the variation principles in thermodynamics, it is well known that the principle of least dissipation of energy and the principle of minimum entropy productions were developed by Onsager and Prigozhin at all. On the other hand, we have proposed a novel Lagrangian variational formulation for non equilibrium thermodynamics, which is an extension of Hamilton's principle in mechanics that enables us to treat the systems with entropy production, such as mechanical systems with friction, resistive electrical circuits, chemical reactions, as well as complex viscous fluid. Regarding geometric structures in thermodynamics, it is well known that the thermodynamics can be understood in the context of contact geometry using the Gibbs form. On the other hand, we have shown that there exists a deluxe structure induced from nonlinear constraints of thermodynamic type for the case of simple systems. The simple system means that the system in which there exists a single entropy variable to represent the macroscopic property of the system. Here, the purpose of our talk is to explore the case of non-simple system that has more than one thermodynamic variables by con constructing the Dirac structure on the contracting bundle, and also to show how all of the required equations for the non equilibrium thermodynamics can be systematically obtained for such a non-simple system. Here we illustrate a non-simple discrete system that consists of simple systems, each of whose macroscopic property can be represented by a single entropy variable. Hence, the non-simple system has several entropy variables to represent the macroscopic property of the whole system as an interconnected system. And we assume that the system is a diabetically closed system where we consider the entropy production due to the friction and heat conduction between the uh, subsystems. We suppose that the configuration uh, variables uh, for mechanical paths are given by Q in the uh, configuration, mechanical configuration manifold, chapter Q. And we also suppose that the external force, which is uh, uh, given by a uh, fiber preserving uh, map from TQ times RP to T star Q, uh, is given by this, so which is on some mention of the external force associated to each. Uh, subsystem. We also suppose that the heat fluxes J sub AB are defined such that the symmetric properties uh, satisfied and also the summation of the uh, fluxes from A1 to P uh, must be zero for all B. Okay, now let's see the variation of formulation for the dynamics of non-simple system. So we start with the thermodynamic configuration space. 
uh, curry Q, whose coordinates are given by Q mechanical coordinates. S A's, they are uh, entropy variables associated with the subsystems. Uh, gamma A, the thermal displacements whose time rates are the temperature of the subsystems. Sigma A, the internal entropy production associated to each subsystem. And we are given Lagrangian on TQ times RP, okay? Our Lagrange dumbbell principle for thermodynamics is a, an extension of Hamilton's principle in mechanics, which is given as follows. Namely, find the curve Q of T, S A of T, gamma A of T, sigma A of T, which are critical for the variational condition memory this condition, subject to the phenomenological memory, nonlinear, non holonomic constraint CK, which is given by these constraints, and also for variations subject to the variational constraint CV, which is given by these, and with the endpoint fixed conditions for the uh, Q and uh, gamma A. From the direct computations, we can easily get the Lagrange dumbbell equations like this. So we have the uh, mechanical parts as well as the uh, thermodynamic parts. And we also get energy balance equations, which is nothing but the first law. The time rate of the total energy E must be equal to uh, the power due to the external force. And we also have the entropy balance equation like this. So in particular, on the right-hand side, it means that the rate of internal entropy production, which is positive, consistently with the second law, okay? And it deduces the phenomenological laws are given like this. Next, we consider the uh, non-linear constraints of thermodynamic type, which is typically appear in the non-equilibrium thermodynamics. So mathematically, we need to consider the variational constraints given like this. So the variational constraints are submanifolds of TQ times TQ over thermodynamic configuration space such that vector subspace CV of X and V is defined by for all X and V in TQ. The reason why we have TQ times TQ is that uh, one of the tangent bundle is the space for the variation Q delta Q, and the other tangent bundle is for Q and V. We also get the phenomenological constraints, uh, which are given as a submanifold of TQ, and it deduced from CV, namely the variational constraint, by this condition. This is remarkable because mathematically, CK is defined from CV. So, which is a little bit opposite to the uh, intuitive physical uh, understanding. And the local expressions of variational constraints are given like this, and the local expression of uh, kinematic constraints, CKs, are given like this. Now, let's see the construction of the rough structures on the contracting boundary. So, contracting boundary over the thermodynamic configuration manifold is characterized by the projection, canonical projection from P to Q, uh, local coordinate X, V, P to uh, project to X, the base point. So by using this projection, we can define the induced distribution on the Pontryagin boundary, namely delta P, 
by using the inverse of the tangent map of pi applied to CV of X and V. So you get the distribution on P. In coordinate, we get this condition. And also we can define the presympathetic form on the Pondragon boundary by using the canonical symplectic structure on the cotangent bundle. In local expression, we have this. Now we have come to the point to define an induced Dirac structure by using delta P and omega uh, presympathetic structure omega P, like this. Associated with the given Lagrangian, so we can introduce an augmented Lagrangian where we have the constraint for the minimum power due to the external entropy production. So in this case, we just consider the case adiabatically closed. So SA must be equal to sigma A. So then we can introduce the generalized energy on the Pontryagin boundary by using the augmented Lagrangian, okay, like this. So the, uh, note that the augmented Lagrangian is totally degenerate in terms of V sub S A and V sub sigma A, because we are missing these terms. Okay, uh, this is our main theorem. Given delta P and the original Lagrangian, uh, curve X of T in the Pontryagin bundle is a solution of the Dirac term dynamic system given by this condition. So we also have the external force fields. If and only if it satisfies the intrinsic Lagrange dumbbell Pontryagin equations, these equations, and with the constraints. In the local expression, you can get from this, uh, these set of nonlinear differential algebraic equations by eliminating the excess variables, namely momentum and velocity variables, we obtain the, these equations. Still, we can uh, reduce equations because we have the uh, property associated to the the fluxes by this, and we get, so this is a uh, uh, temperature is minus DLDSA. So we can substitute this and this. So then we get sigma A dot must be equal to sigma, uh, SA dot it must be equal to sigma A dot. So you can uh, substitute this uh, by, Replacing SA dot. So you get these equations. Note that this is nothing but the Lagrange down the equation that are obtained from the variational principle as shown before. And along the solution curve in the Pontryagin boundary, we get the energy balance equations. And also we get the entropy balance equation, total entropy is equal to these. So the right-hand side must be the, the internal entropy production, which is always positive. Let's see the example, adiabatic piston. The adiabatic piston is a system, interconnected system that is composed of three simple systems. This is one, two, three. So piston cylinders and uh, uh, rigid rod. Choosing the state variables, Q, Q is the displacement of one of the piston, and VQ is the velocity, and S1, S2s are the entropy variables associated with the idea of gas inside the pistons. So you get the Lagrangian kinetic minus potential. Potential energies are given by the internal energy of the idea of gas, like this. The constitutive relation of the friction is given by the linear phenomenological relations. 
And also the heat conduction is given by this. Uh, this copper is nothing but the heat conductivity of the connecting rod. From the condition of the Dirac system, you can easily get uh, evolution equation for the thermodynamics of the diabetic piston. This is uh, with a Lagrange with, uh, with the friction and uh, second of the condition. And also we get uh, heat power due to the internal entropy production for the piston one and two. So T's are in temperatures and uh, which is uh, defined by the internal energy and P, uh, finally P1 and P2 are the pressures, okay? Since the system is isolated, we recover the energy conservation rule. So in this case, um, we don't have any external force. So the energy is totally conserved. This is in a sense remarkable because the system has friction as well as uh, the heat conduction. Nevertheless, the total energy is conserved because we consider total energy as the uh, mechanical total energy as well as the um, thermodynamic energies. Usually in mechanics, they drop the thermodynamic part. Because of that, the system is considered to be a dissipative system. So they cannot recover the uh, energy conservation rules like this. So this is very uh, interesting point of our uh, method. And also the second law is recovered. Of course, it is uh, positive internal entropy production. Okay, now we conclude our presentation. We have shown a Dirac formulation for thermodynamics of non-simple system together with the associated Lagrange downbed principle. We have introduced nonlinear non holonomic constraints of thermodynamic type by which we can construct the induced Dirac structures on uh, the Pontryagin bundles. We have illustrated that we can recover all of the required evolution equations of Lagrange downbed equations, the energy balance equation, namely first law, as well as the uh, internal entropy balance equation, second rows. We have uh, illustrated our theory with an example of a non-simple system with an adiabatic piston with entropy production due to friction and heat conduction. Okay, thank you for your attention.